Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20. Our adventures just helped a family escape the city of Silsby because they were... Uh, bad stuff was going to happen to them pretty soon. And now our adventures are on their way back to Avranches. Uh, so it is dark at night because you guys left late at night, and it's probably about like 3 a.m. right now. Uh, sun hasn't come up, come up yet, it's going for another few hours. Uh, the roads are deserted right now. And, uh, you're just making your way down the <sighs> hill fr from Stillsby. Are we all rejoined together? Yeah, you all have joined together, and, uh, Tarth and his family end up going west after escaping the city. <laughs> what cool. <laughs> I have some money that I will hand over to the others. Did you two at all have any trouble taking them out? Actually, it went surprisingly smoothly. I shot someone with an arrow. That's oh, impressive. Right. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you do that <laughs> yet. Uh, no, we uh, we managed to keep the... We did have a couple of pursuers, but we kept them at bay long enough to jump off the cliff. The what? Oh, right. the cliff that I, I suppose I didn't tell <clears> you. <throat> we had to jump off a cliff. I didn't tell you. <laughs> well, I guess you're lucky then. Yeah. I've done that jump a thousand times. Yeah. All things considered, I think it went pretty pretty well. All right, Dom, I mean, then. No one died. <laughs> Hell, we didn't even get hurt. I it think went better went. than our first escort quest. I'm going to slap them rings and go, chop! <laughs> I haven't gotten in yet! <laughs> <laughs> and I've been left behind again. <laughs> uh, so you make your way, and on the road, I'd say... How long are you guys wanting to travel for for the first day before you rest? Because uh, you guys did leave really late at night and didn't have a chance to get a full night's sleep um, since. That's I true, work. and we're probably all like, well, I propose we're drinking, we're probably yeah. a little tipsy. I I propose someone drives, everyone else sits in the wagon and sleeps, yeah. and we switch off so we can just He's keep so going. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we can I just can keep us yeah. keep this uh, posse trucking. I on. think we definitely should put some distance between us and the city. Because uh, we have somehow, I'm sure Shavadon knows that we helped that family escape. We have so. officially ingratiated ourselves with Shavadon's bullshit. Well, he's a loser and a big meanie, so. I have a big He's a big meanie. <laughs> <like, laughs> um, yeah, um, I can take over driving for uh, most of the night if you guys want. All right, here you go. <laughs> Eventually, I'm scared for all the rains <laughs> out of the back of the wagon. <laughs> Eventually, you guys will have to like stop and take a break to let the horses rest. Mm -hmm. But that'll that, uh, that probably won't be for a, another half day or so. All right, we'll keep going, I guess. Okay, mm. uh, so you make your way, and eventually you, the sun rises, and you hear a lot of birds chirping again. Uh, you don't hear as much howling from the woods or as much hooting from owls in the woods. Lark <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kaka Carl is asleep right now in the back seat, and every once in a while you hear, Come! Come! I'm gonna, Come! <laughs> as we're driving in the way, I'm just casually gonna try to see if I see any birds to fire at them and practice my aim with Ray of Frost. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, uh, you do see some birds every once in a while. Nice. So the Carl yeah. is right there. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> he sees nothing. No, I meant you can use him for target practice. <laughs> He's a bird. <laughs> yeah, you see one bird right beside you. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so you're able to like practice then. You're getting decent at using your small to hit birds. Nice, nice, nice. But only birds. You have disadvantage on every other creature. <laughs> <laughs> you thought specializing was good, but it was bad. <laughs> you don't fuck up. Uh, so the entire day, uh, you don't run in, you don't run into any, like, enemies or any monsters or anything. But every once in a while, you'll just cross paths with some travelers. Uh, they'll all wave hi to you, and are you gonna stop for any of them? Is this um, happening? I'm still shooting birds. Do any, do any of them look out of the ordinary? Like, like, is, like, are there any merchants, or is there anyone, like, that I would take note of? Cause, like, if, if not, then I'm yeah. just gonna, like, we even say good day as we go by. Uh, most of these ones are just travelers, maybe fellow adventurers too. None of them would, would any, none of them would really pique your interest. Probably not. No. 
Um, no, we'll just keep going. Just yeah. a polite. Just good day. Good, good day. Deep gnomes. <laughs> or Kyle. <laughs> Kyle's definitely dead by now. <laughs> uh, so you travel onwards more, and by now it's probably about like 2 or 3 p.m. Uh, Carl is back flying again, just making sure that he sees anything that happens. Um... We have to probably start to take a break now because of the horses. Yeah, you do All think right. that you will need a break real soon. Um, so I'm just gonna pull the car over to the side of like the trail, um, and give the horses a bit of break and okay. give them some hand water and whatnot. So uh, they'll need to rest for a couple of hours. So is All there right. anything you guys specifically want to do for the next couple of hours? I'm, I'm going to start a fire and cook that venison. Okay. Well, <laughs> that is definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only been, been, been a like couple a day. days. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well. Just While he's doing that, I'm going to pull out my monocle of Lewinsky and put it on <laughs> and then uh, begin blowing on my bubble pipe. And now you've got Iron Man vision where everything's just like got a <laughs> huge HUD display, you know? I'm a fancy cat. <laughs> I'm going to begin practicing my deceptions. Okay. <laughs> I am Sir Leopold. <laughs> I'm just going to, um, for part of the break, I'm just going to tend the horses and make sure that they're like um, well fed and everything, and then after that, I'm just gonna chill in the cart, okay. write in my journal, and just hang out. Uh, so about two hours pass, and you think you can probably start traveling again pretty soon. Uh, I ask Lazarus, I, I go up to Lazarus and I say, hey, uh, do you mind taking the wheel for a bit? I'm just gonna meditate a little bit and rest up. Of course. I do believe I remember the way back. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I just go in the back and <laughs> meditate. <laughs> what? And can you all roll perception checks, please? Oh, you bet. <laughs> We're on it. 16. 18. 8. 11. 18 as well. It almost no. had a 20. It was like uh, the three of you, uh, Lazarus, Ryan, and Alarindel, you notice, occasionally okay, so like while you're traveling, you notice people lurking in the woods, kind of keeping an eye on the road. That is something, because when we talked to Deep Moans, like, way back now, mm -hmm. oh, we're they did follow. mention that they were being followed, so this could be Shabbatah's men. I think the best action is just go about our business. Yeah. yeah. Don't alert attention, because there's no way they got word that we ran away from the city yet. Oh, what's that? That's yeah, certainly true. Like, rocky talkies. Rocky talkies. Forgot about that damn thing. <laughs> but if they don't <laughs> approach us, like, there's, there's nothing we can do, obviously, but pursuing those. I, like, but well, they're just watching us, whatever. Yeah, and I mean, like, what if, um, I'm gonna kill them. like, best case scenario, they don't know much, and they're just keeping an eye on us just for the sake of keeping an eye. Um, so if we just go about our business, like, maybe eventually they'll stop, or, like, you know, or, like, what's, what's the harm in that? But if they, I mean, we should keep an eye on them, obviously, and not just, like, turn our backs away, because then, you know, who knows what can happen. Stay ready. We have eyes on us. That's sort of was. Possibly Shabbatah's men. Oh, now we're being watched. Sure, save the family. Right. You're the one who asked me to take them through the tunnels. <laughs> I was all... Ryan's fault. It was the right thing to do. Besides, we don't know who could be listening. So, uh, let's keep your mouth shut. Now we have to be double quiet about what we do. So, yeah, you, you guys just keep going? Yeah. I try to see if I could spot them now that I know what they're doing. Okay, so, uh, roll a perception, please, or an investigation, either one. I have a question. Yeah. Shepard Daw, he's a really big deal in Stillsby, but does he have much influence outside of the city? Most likely. That's why I'm uh, the king. He has some, um, yeah. Not as much as in Stillsby, but he does have influence. 21. Yeah, you see him, and you actually see that one of them is a, uh, lizard folk. Ooh, that's the only one I <laughs> see. <different people. laughs> that's the only one you notice. Yeah. Let's kill a croc. Nothing, that's fine. Whatever. And uh, how far is this lizard folk? Uh, he's about 50 feet away. 50 feet away. You don't say. <laughs> oh boy. But don't do it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Can't wait to start this fight. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to pay attention to his distance. <laughs> okay. If he gets anywhere within 30 feet. 
And he's kind of just staying where he is. Okay. That's uh, so why you just continue to Onward. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm going to be meditating in the back, taking a, a little rest. And I'm watching this lizard man. So as you travel further, uh, you see some other travelers and stuff, but eventually you do see a merchant. And I'll stop uh, the merchant. He is a middle aged half lane walking with like a really content content looking pony, uh which is towing a small wagon and the wagon has a sign on it that says Lucky Lone Brew, try our famously popular ale for a low price. And the half lane has a huge smile on his face, bright eyes, and is super excited and says Well, uh are you stopping for him or stopping. okay. Hey, how's it going, y'all? Where are you going to? What are you up to? We're on our way to Avranches. Oh, Avranches is a great city. I was just near there, actually. It's just coming from Summer Sale. I travel and saw my l- Lucky Lone Brew ale on the road. Hey, lucky. Lucky Lone, Lone Brew. What is, uh, what's so lucky about it? Whenever people drink it, a lot of the time, they have great, great, great luck. Even me. Like, they say I am the luckiest halfling in the world. I would like to... But why do they say that? Like me once. <laughs> <laughs> do I still see the lizard folk, bro? Uh, no. no. You pass him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, they say I'm so lucky because I'm super happy with my... With what I do, I sell a lot of lucky loan brew. I have a beautiful wife, beautiful kids... And a beautiful home in Somerset, Somerdale. I would like to see if he's lying. Our uh, role. <laughs> uh, he's he's, he's like, lying. His wife's actually <laughs> ugly. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I want to know if he's trying to swindle us. Okay, insight yeah. or <laughs> fuck off. Uh, <laughs> ten. You don't think he's lying. You think he's lying. But... I'll have three. <laughs> sure thing. It'll be five silver pieces each. So. My One butt. gold and five silver. Okay. Uh, cool. I can afford that. Yeah, I'll buy three. Hey, what a lucky life you have. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yes, I agree. <laughs> 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 Sorry, you guys are both saying stuff at the same time. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, would any would any of you other folks like some? I just um, interrupted my uh, meditation. I see this guy is offering ale, and uh, I hear. Everything he says, and I just say, uh, no, thank you. I don't drink, but thank you for the offer. Of course, sir. Of course. <laughs> I'd be interested. I'll, uh, I'll take one, I guess. Just one? Just one. Okay, it'll be five silver pieces for just one. Sure thing. And he'll hand you a bottle of ale with a really nice, uh, label on it that says Lucky Lone Brew and has a bunch of dice on it. Uh, I'll have two of the Lucky Lone Brews. Excellent, excellent, sir. And he'll give you two. I'm going to drink one. Okay. Uh, so whenever you drink one, your ability checks and everything will turn to a coin flip. So on uh, heads, <laughs> it'll be a natural 20. On oh. tails, it'll be a 1. <laughs> oh, that's so not good. That's interesting. <laughs> I have two left. Uh, how long does the effect oh. last? Uh, it is an effect for... Two hours. High risk, high reward. Mm. Yes. Okay, uh, what's his name again, sorry? Good thing. No, uh, his, name. I didn't say his name, actually. Oh. What's your name, fair traveler? I am... Lone Star. <laughs> <laughs> Lone Star is left alone. <laughs> I'm Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln, Lincoln Lone Star. <laughs> Lincoln Lone Star's the only one. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, well, thanks for your business. Uh, no, thank you, sir. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for your business. Uh, we're gonna be on our way, I suppose. No one else wants to get a, a, a beer? Uh, a ale? No? Nope. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, even. Good day to all of you. And Good traveling. You just pony off while you guys just you know, What are you gonna say? <laughs> well, he, we're gonna get some distance, like a, I'd say within like 60. 60 oh, yeah. so, uh, can I, before we go, can I try to pickpocket him? No. <laughs> you already left. Yeah. 
I should have done that. I just drank more Kilo and brew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it could have gone no, really, really good. No, I do it. I'm not. That's not my. Okay. That doesn't play to my. Uh, what were you going to do? You're going to light on fire, weren't you? I'm not chaotic evil. I was going to say uh, to combat his luckiness that he thinks he is. Uh-huh. I was going to shoot one of his tires on fire. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> good thing he doesn't have tires. <laughs> the who? Not so lucky, huh? They have wheels. But, uh, wooden yeah. wheels. Yeah. Neutral. <laughs> Do you all knew what he meant, Clayton? The tire doesn't necessarily have to consist with like air. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> anyway, we continue onwards. Yeah, so you guys continue on, and you see some other travelers. Not really anything out of the ordinary about them. Then again, after a while, you do see another merchant. Uh, this one just has a big sign on his wagon that says trinkets. Another pit stop, guys. Anyone want any trinkets? Yeah, I guess some I'm trinkets. Ah, yeah. uh, sure. I'm always up for an oddity or two. And the guy in this cart, and well, eat in this cart is a elf. Uh, good day to you, sir. Um, uh, hello there. How how are you guys? Tired. Understand, but it's long long travel. Uh, are you guys you? coming from Silsby? From Stillsby, yes, and yourself. Uh, from Summersdale. Summersdale. Popular place, the Summersdale. Yeah, uh, it's one of the biggest cities in the capital, so, I mean, in the country, so, yeah. We might have to stop there one of these days. Who knows what we could find there? I know we could find Lucky Alone Brew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what might you be selling? Oh, just trink- trinkets of any kind, anything you could ever want. Okay. Or we could ever want. So, how does this work exactly? Does he just have, and we just pick, or...? Yeah, he has all the trinkets on the trinket list, and, uh, and mostly just those. If I think of something, I'll say it. Uh, what would you recommend? Uh, I would recommend this music box. It, it'll play music that everyone will love when they listen to it. It is no made, and... Uh, I actually just picked it up a few days ago from a gnome who was traveling from a uh, mall. Uh, would anyone would anyone else want anything? I wouldn't be interested, though, thank you. Mm, yes, sir, I have a... I have a cloak. Well, you mind if I do a little rummaging? Of course, of course. I'll go into the area and start looking through okay. stuff. I have a question. Yes. Why do you have the invitation to a party where a murder has happened? <laughs> <laughs> That is from the famous murder where the king of Maul died 200 years ago. It was a party with of the ages with all of the best performers of the time and as well as a lot of other important figures and kings and queens, princes, princesses. So it, it was like a really fancy party that some people might want a trinket from. Intriguing. Uh, I'm also interested in this nightcap. Of course, uh, this is a very fine... This nightcap, whenever you wear it, you will never have a bad dream again. I say sold on that front. Of course, that will be one gold piece. One gold piece? Yeah. I'll get the invitation, too. I want to look for yeah. a wolf skin fur cloak. That will be two gold pieces for the invitation. So three in total? Yeah, a wolf skin cloak. Yeah, wolf skin. Uh, yeah, there's one. Uh, there are actually two of them. There's one uh, that is completely white, like white fur, and then another one which is like a dark chestnut brown fur. I'll grab the white one. Okay. Good sir, how much for this fur pelt here? That'll be two gold pieces, my fine sir. Done. I hand over two gold. Excellent. He'll grab it for you. What is that scale, good sir? That scale is from one of the biggest dragons that this world has ever seen. I just picked this, I just found this, uh, about two weeks ago while adventuring and exploring the countryside. It's actually, I found it in, in a small cave. I've hunted a lot of beasts in my days, but I've never seen anything quite like that. I shall take it. Of course. And it is a blue scale. Uh, that'll be five gold pieces. There you go. Of course. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna put on the fur cloak. Okay. 
Do you know what it does? Uh, no. Uh, is it one of the numbers on here? Yeah, it's tw- uh, 28. Uh, I also would like to buy a cloak, but not necessarily the fur one. Um, do you have any other options? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have this leather cloak, which someone might like. And there's also this, this cloak made from a lion's fur. This lion was apparently uh, killed in the, uh, near the city of Eol. And, uh, they're rare, so it was really sad that someone killed it, but they made it into a fur coat, so. They're not rare? They are very rare. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's, you just tried to sell a lion cloak to a tabaxi. Uh, <laughs> that's some poor business moves. Uh, I will buy the leather cloak, though. Of course, of course. How much for that lion gold cloak? Pieces. Really, the man? The lion cloak will be seven gold pieces. Please don't buy that. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, how much was it, sir? For the leather uh, cloak? Two gold pieces. Okay. Hey, man, please don't, please don't buy that. That's I'll terrible. I'll take that lion cloak off of you. You're pretty of course, sir. Here you go. <laughs> So you're all looking pretty dapper now. Oh, yeah. Well, will there be anything else? I think I'm okay. Uh, well, I appreciate the business, though. Thank you for the business! And she'll uh, go and lead his cart to you. Onward. A good day's travel to you. Thank you. Uh, and you're just going to keep going? I think so. Okay. Uh, you, you travel, and it is now nighttime. Uh, nothing else really happened. Can you guys roll perception checks, please? So something will happen. <laughs> 22. Natural 20. Well. I wouldn't have, uh, also 22. Um, I wouldn't have a advantage or anything at all since I can see uh, double night vision. Like, I have 120 feet compared yeah, to no. 60. No? Okay. Just wondering... Get what I can take. Oh, it's a 10. Uh, Baron, uh, immediately you notice that there is something else lurking in the woods. And when you, like, focus on it more, you notice that it is a half-red dragon. Um, uh, okay. Chaps? There seems to be something lurking in the shadows that resembles half a red dragon. Red or a red half No, it's a half-dragon. Half-red dragon. It's a half-dragon. It seems to resemble uh, this somewhat the shape of a dragon. Not well, a that's alarming. <laughs> I would exercise <laughs> caution. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, like intelligent or it's a humanoid. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And you do notice he is slowly getting closer to the cart. Um, was he in within thirty feet? <laughs> he would be within thirty feet now. I will. I will call out. Fender. Yeah, uh, who goes there? Uh, he doesn't answer, but he fires his crossbow at you. Yeah, problem, we don't talk. <laughs> I'm gonna cast blindness. I said he was, uh, yeah. cast, yeah, in that first. Uh, he got a 15. Is yeah. that hit? Or is it me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that uh, hits. I thought from over here. Deal uh, 9 or. Yeah. It deals 10 damage. Um, I thought from over here that was a natural 20. No. And I was like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, after the arrow <laughs> He fires. made serious business. Oh, I cast blindness on him. Is That's that a, a wisdom signal? Yeah, I believe it's a wisdom 13. Got 11. So he is now blind. <laughs> nice. And can everyone roll initiative, please? He's blinded for one minute. Nice. Get good goals. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> He just gotta use a different dice each time. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that now. I got an 18. Give this one second. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you have a nasty habit of being a one hit wonder, so I'm sending my friendship energy towards you. Oh, wait, we can only use one bonus action. <laughs> so, talking is a free action. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, Roger, you are first. Okay. So, I'm going to. Use my bonus action to use Slayer's Prey. It's one of my monster Slayer uh, feats. Okay. Uh, I mark a creature within 60 feet, and I add a 1d6 to my first attack to it each uh, turn. Okay. And then I'm going to... He's within 30 feet, right? Yep. I just run up to him and try to hit him with both my short swords. Okay. First one is a 10. Yeah, that misses. Second one is a 22. Yeah, yes. 
Would he get advantage if the dude's blinded? You haven't blinded him yet. No, he is. Okay, he is blind. Oh, he is blind. Uh, yeah, I guess you would have advantage, yeah. Mm, would you get advantage for that? I don't know. I don't so know. Like, it's up to you. Just because he's like. blind. What are you attacking with? Short sword. So I know he yeah, you, you would have advantage because you can't really see where you're coming from. If it was a uh, arrow, I then you'd probably not. Okay. So the first one would be 22, and then I'm going to roll. Yeah. So 16 and 19. Yeah. Good. With my 2, 5, 14, and then I add a 1d6 for my sword is prey. It's 4, so 18 damage. Okay. okay. Uh, next will be Blaze. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leap out as well, and I'm actually going to use, uh, I'm going to use my key to cast, uh, Fist of the Unbroken Air. That is an air, uh, elemental spell. Uh, so what he has to do is he has to make a save. Yeah, he has to make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, he'll take 3d10 bludgeoning, plus an extra 1d10 for an additional key. Uh, and he'll be knocked prone and 20 feet away. Okay. So he has to make a save. Strength saving throw. Beat up 11. He failed. He failed? Okay. okay, so he takes, I'm gonna expend all three key points, so he takes 3d10. 7, 12, 19 damage. And he's been knocked 20 feet away, and he's not prone. <laughs> this guy is blind, and he's <laughs> laying on the ground, and he's just, just been, y'all wait. He's been thrown he's regretting messing with us. Uh, next is Ryan. Mm-hmm. Okay, I run in front of everybody, and I use Thunder Wave. Okay. Can okay. you run that far ahead? Hmm? Pretty slow, you think? <laughs> Actually, yeah. It's my turn. I can move 25 feet. Is that ahead of me? He was, okay. not, he was not back 20 feet. Fun so. fact, I'm a fighter. <laughs> anyway, I use Thunder Wave, so he has to make a con saving throw. Okay, uh, what does he have to beat? beat? Uh, 14. Yeah, he failed. Okay, sweet. And I'm also going to use my uh, Channel Divinity Destructive Wrath, so it deals maximum damage. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so that's 16. Or, sorry, uh, 24. His second level spell slot. You killed him. Oh, cool. Okay, I was going to use a bonus roll. action, too, but whatever. Yeah. He got one shot in and just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you hit him with it, and he just flies back into the trees and, like, hits his hits the back of his head on a tree, making a huge dent in the tree, and he is unconscious. Okay. Take this moment to yank the arrow out of my arm that he shot me with. <laughs> and go... go loot him. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Autumn, he has a long sword, short sword, and heavy crossbow, as well as some, like, crossbow bolts, and he also has, uh, 20 gold pieces on him. I'll take the long sword. I would prefer the short sword. I'll take the gold. Um, he had arrows. And he also has, uh, a coin, a different looking coin in his pocket. And the coin, uh, you, you recognize it as a coin that's given out to all of Trapid does flowers. I recognize this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll point that out and I'll be like, clearly he was working for Shavadot. He has one of his followers' coins. Uh, that is as much evidence as I need to know that we're being followed and that we are now wanted. Seems we pissed off the wrong person. Yes, well, someone had to save a family. Yeah. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, and the right thing to do sometimes gets us in a lot of shit. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I kind of just turn and I give the dead body a kick. I'm like, the guy shot me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool. Uh, and, uh, I'll drop the coin because I don't need it and I'll head okay. back to the cart. Are um, you going to make sure he's dead? Because I'm, right now he's I'm going to, yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to light the body on fire. Okay. Oh yeah, my god. Why don't you just, like, I'm going to put him out of his misery and just slide that new short sword through his throat. Okay. Yeah, he is. I'm not leaving now. evidence. Um, how many arrows did he have? Uh, he had about, uh, ten crossbow bolts. I do have a crossbow. Take it off his dead body. <laughs> uh, are you guys just gonna keep on heading out? Yeah, after I burn the hash. Okay. Gonna... Alright. I wouldn't mind. Uh, yeah, you're able to burn. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is nighttime. Uh, you can travel on or you could rest for the night. How oh, long has it been since we rested? Uh, it's been probably around. Twelve hours. Okay, mm-hmm. well, so it's pretty late at night. Right well, now. We've got to be near Avranches now soon. Yeah, right? you'll be able to. You'll be in Avranches by tomorrow. I say we just finish up. Yeah. Clearly, uh, we're in a bit of a pickle. The well, lingering would not be wise. Yeah, I'm like casting a thunder wave. 
creates a big ass boom. Mm-hmm. So that'll be best to like, move on. But I will rest in the car as we go. Yeah. Yeah. I also need to rest because mm, I got hit. So I'm yeah, just gonna once. sit and chill. I've done nothing and I've <laughs> taken no damage. Yeah. So yeah. So you guys uh, keep on making your way, and there, you don't see anyone at all else on this path. And you travel until dawn, and the sun rises, and eventually now, every so often you run into people, mostly, most likely either coming from Avranches, or perhaps Mall as well, or other small towns. Uh, but nothing really of interest. You don't see any more people lurking in the woods. And, uh, by now you do see Avranches in the distance. And Tucker Carl will say, uh, I will fly ahead and I will fly ahead and charter us a boat to get to Avranches because the tide won't be low enough yet to travel. Good idea. Thank you very much. Hoot hoot, and he flies away. (laughs) (laughs) Fly, fly. (laughs) Uh, Carry onward, I suppose, towards the docks. Yeah. Uh, So you get to the docks, and waiting there is Tucker Carl with a ship captain beside him. Uh, the ship captain is a small gnome. It's one of the shortest gnomes you've ever seen besides, like, gnome children, but uh, she is the captain of the ship that will be sailing to Avranches. Boats again. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> How much longer till we can sail, Captain? Oh, we can set sail right... Oh, wait, that's... <laughs> oh, we can set sail right now if you want. Are you all ready to leave? Let's get this uh, over with. Aye, let's go. Awesome, let's get let's get going. And she'll just get everything ready and like I'll show you guys on board and set and you'll set sail. And it's only about like a thirty minute ride to a branch as very basically. Basically, yeah. So where are you guys coming from? <laughs> from here actually, we're just making our way back. Oh oh I see. Uh, uh do you all live here? I throw up. <laughs> 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 No, we're just visiting for a time. Oh, okay, I see, yeah. It's a great place, place to live, though. Seems like a nice enough city. The king seems well put together. Oh, <laughs> the king is a great person. Yeah. Oh, you might want to <laughs> get some water there, sir. <laughs> uh, maybe just take some deep breaths, or try to just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over here. <laughs> I'm not wasting spell slots on you. <laughs> And unless there's something specific you want to do on the ship, uh, is there? No. Uh, okay, so you make it to a branches, and the normally you like, It was nice to have you on my ship! Come, if you ever need another ride, just come see me! My name is Ali Alanway. Well, we need one eventually, so <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we'll see you at some point. Of course, of course! And Tucky Carl will lead you guys to the king. And as you get into the throne room, you do pass, as you're walking there, you do pass by the assistant who at first hired you guys, or bribed you guys. And he's like, I'm glad to see you're back. Glad to see everything is successful, I hope. Yeah. Great. <laughs> no hindrances at all. Great, great, great. And he'll just keep on going to where he was going to. And, well, actually, he'll go and hit the king. Uh, you'll bring the cane, and the cane is like, Hello! I'm glad to see you all. Oh boy. Everything is successful? Yeah. My my assistant tells me. It's pretty easy. Went off without a hitch. I'm glad to hear that. I'll sure miss my son, though. (laughs) Yeah, we can really tell. Uh. (laughs) He seemed like he was in good hands, though. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. No, I suspect you all want your reward for doing this. That depends what it is. What do you? What did you have in mind exactly? A book. A book. Uh, Perhaps you ransom. have some precious books on hand. <laughs> <laughs> he motions to the assistant, and the assistant brings another chest. <laughs> oh, lovely! More chests. It, look, it looks like exactly the same as the other chest. Is it the exact same? No. <laughs> uh, Rowan's. He sets it down and you, you guys can open it and inside you find 
Uh, there will be a hundred gold pieces each. Uh, two golden rings, which will allow the user to have one extra spell slot. I could use one. I think no, I should use that. that. Yeah. <laughs> no. And a course of teleportation, which is a one-time use item. Ah, uh, quartz. Would you, to- would you like the quartz? Uh, yeah. I guess I'll. I guess I'll take it if hold on to it for now. So I kind of took that monocle without asking. So any uh. uh any what was the ranks? <laughs> uh, they are golden rings that allow the user to have one extra spell slot. <laughs> or if you're a fighter, one extra maneuver. If you're a dead kind of fighter, or one extra key. A key. Pull. Oh man, having another key would be really good. Having another maneuver would be really good. Having another spell slot as your healer <laughs> I would feel be it's really the best. good. <laughs> you already told us you don't have many healing spells. And yeah, I don't think you've healed anyone besides the prince and his puking, which is barely healing. And a bunch of random people. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you haven't been damaged yet. You took like I seven took a damage, bit of damage total. Yeah. Um, you don't need healing this yet. This is all fine, but I'm more into the <laughs> whole pursuit of uh, learning. Uh, do you, you would happen to have any cool books? Uh, I can't give away too many books, but I'll allow you to come to the library here in this castle anytime you want. I'm mostly just looking for a uh, uh, ten ways to make grapes. Haha, that hasn't come out yet. That's uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're still only on nine ways. Uh, <laughs> I was mostly looking for a. Uh, you know what? That actually just came out today, and I got. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a copy of Ten Ways to Make Crepes. It's not really. Uh, I was hoping more for, like, a, what's the name of it? A, a book with, like, animals. Like, a, so more like the general wildlife. Like a coloring book? <laughs> you know, like, uh, there's those books where they tell you about the animals and certain geographies and stuff. I want to know kind of more about the wildlife. So I'm not surprised. Oh, uh, sure, sure. I think I can allow you to have one of our wildlife books. And he'll just send his assistant to grab one. <laughs> Do you have a library card? <laughs> <laughs> cool, I'll thank him for that. Okay. Uh, oh, and I also I want to try something, so I'm going to put on my uh, uh, monocle of Lewinsky. And I will try to impersonate a famous person. Yeah. By the way, it's time for me to unveil my true identity. <laughs> <laughs> I am in fact, this, this isn't even my final form. <laughs> I am in fact Prince Leopold from Maul. Uh, roll deception at disadvantage. Oh, um... Well, I guess just deception, not at disadvantage. Oh, not with disadvantage? Yeah. Then I roll a... <laughs> The ale. Ale 17. That was, but was a that while be- ago. But was that before the fight? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, sorry, just, uh, off question. Yeah. Um, that ale only lasted two hours, right? Yeah. So, like, when we went into that fight, he wouldn't have, like, done the head. Okay. No. Just making sure, because yeah. I was like, oh, did we all just forget about that? Or, oh, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was quite a while after, I guess. All right, sorry. Uh, the king will be like, I didn't know that Jonathan had a tabaxi son. <laughs> I, I slipped the monocle, and I'm like, Ha-ha! <laughs> You've been had, my man! <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see if it worked. Apparently. You're close. Yeah. Uh, got you a little bit, didn't I? <laughs> Not really. I know Jonathan pretty well. That's okay. I just wanted to test it out. Is that a monocle of Lewinsky? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, since you guys were so successful in this task, would you be able to do me one more thing? What would that entail? Are, Are you, you selling off your daughter now, too? I am not. <laughs> and I did not sell off my son. You're right. <laughs> Sure you didn't. <laughs> the king of Avron says here you're disrespecting. It's not on my business. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. I do uh, not associate school. with this man. Oh, you associate me with me a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you're within my group does mean not me. So uh, what's, your your what's, what's your definition? What's your What's your proposition? So, I'll need you guys to go to Summersdale because the last a few days ago I sent some. Um, uh, Letters to the king there to try to get some information on some stuff, and 
uh, he never sent anything back. And I sent uh, two of my King's cards there three days ago, and they haven't made it back or made any contact or of any kind. Was that Kaka Craig? <laughs> and uh Chicha Charlie. <laughs> Chicha Carl is with you guys right now and she's like Wow. <laughs> uh no, uh I I will go. Uh I was actually headed to Summersdale before you pull I got bribed. <laughs> uh, so I'll just need you guys to go there, uh meet with the king if possible. I'll, like I'll give you a uh signed note to tell you that it's from me. And then I'll tell you some got some stuff to ask him and then please come back and tell me what he responds with. I would send more guards, but I I can't afford to send out too many. I have That's one fine. request. Of course. I want Kaka Carl to come with us. Kaka Carl uh, actually can't. He <laughs> needs to be here. He's got some duties to attend to. Yeah, it wasn't all because that I didn't send out my t- two of my best, two of my other best car- guards out already, and don't have them. So I need someone to stay here. Was he really that useful? I mean, when we. When that kid, I mean, uh, <laughs> he wasn't that good, you know. Uh, he showed up when it mattered, I suppose, but. Alright, well, sounds good to me. Awesome. Thank you so much for all you've done and for continuing to help me. This means a lot to me. I assume we'll be rewarded for this. Of course. <laughs> Not like we need any rewards at all. Just yeah. doing you the favor will be great enough for me. Hopefully, when we get back, a letter for you. Craig will be out. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that the release date for that is next year, so it might take a while. Uh, and uh, I thought of something that then just stuck in my mind. Uh, if you need anything in Avranchas, feel free to do that before you leave. And if you succeed in this quest, uh, I will uh, give you an uh, entire house here in Avranchas of your own. Ooh, Each of us? No, uh, one house. Yeah, so, dudes living in a house. <laughs> headquarters. <laughs> I, I, I guess you guys did just meet each other recently, so that might be kind of weird. Well, well, how about a house rights. in Somersdale? I'm not a big fan of islands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is something you will have to talk to the king of Somersdale. The king okay. is offering you a house and you decline. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I mean, I didn't really decline. I just asked for a change of venue. I'm not really, like I said, I'm not a big fan of being surrounded by bottomless water. Right, well, let's do the quest first and talk about that reward after. All right, but when we're done, I want to talk about tapestry. All right, I won't take any silly wallpaper, and I won't take any shag carpet. No shag. It just my claws stick to it. It was just <laughs> infuriating. <laughs> Freshman high class for a monk. <laughs> <laughs> like Carl kind of nods his head, like, yeah, my talent. Like, thinking my talents do the same thing. Yeah, right? It's ridiculous. <laughs> and if you guys don't want the house, I can give you something else as a reward if you want one. I acquire nothing besides a little bit of gold to get by. Thank you, sir. We can discuss if maybe we want to change it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of drow are you? Should we <laughs> depart right away then? Uh, you. As long as you depart in the next day or two, that should be sufficient. Well, then I suggest we be on our way. We've been on the road for a while. I feel like we need a little rest. It's, uh, do you have any spare rooms? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can set you up in one of the inns in town. For free? Yeah, for, on, on me. On me, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to sleep on you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can either go to the Mercy's Embrace Inn, the Paradise Inn, <laughs> or I can try to find somewhere else for you guys to stay. Paradise Inn sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great. And he'll uh, just send one of the guards to make arrangements. Is there anything else? I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Pleasure doing business. Uh, and then he'll just hand you a note with, like, the signature of the cane and any information that he needs. And that is where we'll leave off for this episode. We will see you next time on Nat 20. Goodbye!